Hi folks, this is Checkpoint Quiz 6.4. Number one, we have a logarithm equation we're asked to solve. So we have log base 2 of 3 minus x plus log base 2 of 1 minus x equals 3. So when solving log equations, we either look to see if we can express both sides as a log of the same base and then use the one-to-one -one property or we try to get the one log on one side and rewrite it as an exponential equation. So either way we want to proceed the first thing we have to do is use the uh, product rule for logarithms to change the addition on the outside of the log to multiplication of what's inside the logs. Now at this point, it's really a uh, dealer's choice what you want to do. You can use an inverse property of logs and rewrite 3 as log base 2 of 2 cubed, which is log base 2 of 8. And then use the 1 to 1 property to equate what's inside the logs. Or, from this point, you can just rewrite this logarithm equation as an exponential equation. 2 to the third power equals what's inside here, which would also get you to this step. So no matter how, no matter how you do it, it's, uh, you're going to get to this equation. Alright, so looking at this equation, we have a quadratic. So we'll go ahead and multiply this out. So 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 3x minus x minus 4x. Uh, plus x squared is 8. We gather all the terms on one side. Does it factor nicely? Well, it just happens to factor nicely. x minus 5 times x plus 1 is 0. And from this, uh, from x minus 5, 0, we get x equals 5. And the other factor, x equals negative 1. Now remember, unlike exponential equations, uh, logarithm equations have domain restrictions. So it's quite possible that one of these two doesn't work. So we have to go back and we have to do a little check here. And what we're checking to see is if when we substitute these values in, if we produce a zero or a negative inside the logarithm. So if I look at x equals 5, and I go back to my original equation, when I substitute in x equals 5, I get log base 2 of 3 minus 5 plus log base 2 of 1 minus 5 equals 3. And sure enough, look what happens. I get a negative inside the log. All right, so at this point, I know that x equals 5 is an extraneous solution. It's a solution we got that doesn't check. Now, what's always instructive to do is to ask yourself, you know, how did this get let in? You know, what step does this actually check? Well, if you plug 5 in, um, it works in this step, this step, this step, this step, this step, and this step. Because when you plug 5 in, you would get uh, a negative 2 times a negative 4, which order of operations tells you you would do the multiplication first, then take the log, and this would actually work at this step. So once again, when we use log properties, what we're doing is we're increasing the domain of what's going on, of, of the functions involved, which is why we can get these guys. All right. So the long and short of it is check your answer and make sure you don't get negatives. Let's look at uh, negative 1 and see if he's going to be okay. So I'd be 3 minus negative 1. 1 minus negative 1. And sure enough, 3 minus negative 1 is a positive 4. And 1 minus negative 1 is a positive 2. And so x equals negative 1 will work. So the long and short of it is, our answer is x equals negative 1. That'll do it for number 1.